Hey folks, Jeff from Corrugated Cavalier here coming to you with the next installment from my Fiore Abrazare series. This is my friendly helper, Eugene. I will be demonstrating some throws that are not really detailed in the book other than just sort of described vaguely in the descriptions of the post -up. So Fiore says from in the descriptions of the post from Posta Frontale, I can transition into Porta di Ferro and put somebody to the ground. Obviously just going from here to here is not really gonna do it. So you have to kind of extrapolate from what he says a little bit. So we're just going to give some options. You can probably come with some of your own as well. So if we're talking about Posta Frontale, if I get, my assumption here is two collar ties. It could be on the shoulder or something like that, but I'm going to say double collar tie. I could, now if I just transition to Porta di Ferro, Eugene is a strong guy. I'm not gonna just put him to the ground. However, if I take a little step back and start destabilizing him, then I might be able to. And then at least I could get my weight on him if I didn't literally just throw him to the ground. Another option here is that same idea, but I'm going to step, and now I'm going to do a volta stabile, and this was still transitioning to Porta di Ferro, and I'm going to turn and throw him that way. So I'm going to take that little step to destabilize him like I just did, Descresere in this case, and I'm going to hold the stabile turn and transition to Porta di Ferro, and he goes to the ground. Remember, you're falling for these. Um, we'll show it from this side too, why not? So, collar tie, I'm going to step back to destabilize him a little bit, and I'm going to hold the stabile and transition to Porta di Ferro and put him on the ground. Cool? So that's one option. Uh, you can, Eugene can do it to me as well, so if Eugene gives me a collar tie and just destabilizes and turns. And a lot of times, it really can be that easy. Usually good wrestlers aren't going to just give that to you, but it works quite often. Um, so, you can come up with other variations where it becomes really interesting is he says that the same thing in Dente di Zangiato. So Dente di Zangiato is here, so can imagine this might be a collar tie, maybe a wrist tie. So I'm going to take a little step back to destabilize, Descresere, and same thing, Volta Stabile, and turn and go to Porta di Ferro. And same idea. So we'll do that from this side. So when we tie up, I get a collar tie and a wrist tie. I'm going to take that little Descresere, destabilize him, then turn, go to Porta di Ferro, and dump him that way. Um, there are other variations that you can do. You can do from, um, so Dente di Zangato, and you can get an underhook. This one is a little tighter, um, but it, you still can do it. So you can take a little step back, turn. Um, you want a hand or no? You go. Okay. <laughs> um, so you can do it with an, a collar tie and an underhook. That's totally fine as well. So a couple other variations uh, that are still Dente di Zangato are with a reverse collar tie. This one works a little bit better in harness, I think, because they're a little bit more top heavy. Um, and you can get this going forward, and if you can get that going forward, they're more likely to tumble over. Uh, I can still do this out of harness. It might not, it just might not put them on the ground. So if I take a step back, turn. It's okay. So I didn't put Eugene on the ground with that. But I'm still moving his body, that's a good thing. So another one that Eugene and I just worked out that I hadn't thought of before was the reverse power tie and actually getting this cross body wrist lock too. So I'm actually pulling this arm across the body while turning the head this way. So I'm going to take a step back to turn, or Teddy Pedro. I'm going to let Eugene do that one to me because he came up with it. So those are just some variations. It's really good to go through the descriptions of the posta. Fiore always gives great advice in there. Before you even go into the plays, do some of these simple throws. Experiment with your partners. Make sure you know how to fall first. And just experiment with these. Remember, you have to destabilize, either with a step back or a turn or pull. Otherwise, you're probably not going to be able to put them on the ground with these. Thank you for coming by the channel. Please like, subscribe, share. Ciao. Cool, thanks.